In Dragon Ball Super episode 95, Goku and Frieza will fight side by side against some retarded assassins who came all the way from another universe only to get slaughtered. In the last episode, Frieza got resurrected and not long after bro-fisting Goku in the gut, he one-shots a dog-looking assassin from the group of retarded assassins who were probably hired by Sidra, inspired by Kitella. Goku is skeptical about fighting them, he just wants to skip due to lack of time. But the Emperor of Evil wasn't gonna let an opportunity like this go. Look at his expressions, I totally love it, they are doing it right. Frieza in this few minutes has already been portrayed much accurately than in Resurrection F. So Frieza is gonna finish this by literally finishing them off. So starts the Frieza killing game. As you can see in the preview, things are totally intense. Frieza is 100% cocky and no one is standing a chance against him. He is using all kinds of killer attacks, these rays from his fingers are surely killing everyone who is coming in contact. On the other hand, Goku will end up joining as the assassins are freaking Baba and his minions out. Also he's gonna protect the surrounding, just can't leave it like that. So this is how he teams with Frieza. But then, something shocking or rather weird happens, which has been the talk of the trailer. We see a blast coming towards Frieza that looks like an attack from a god of destruction, the Hakai like aura. The way it has been shown in the preview, from the first simple look, it appears as though Sidra is there on U7 Earth, and in this shot, it looks like he might be underwater and the blast is coming out of it? So, what does this mean? Will Sidra actually go up against Frieza and Goku? But if that happens, won't it be super weird? And what would be the result? This is super confusing. I mean yeah, Sidra and Ketela looks more like sons of bitches than gods of destruction as they're wasting time on U7 while their own teams are not that great or prepared and Sidra is most likely the weakest. But still. If Frieza goes on to survive against him, that would ruin the weight of the God of Destruction position. The previews are oftentimes deceiving, so what could be some other scenarios? Scenario 2, it's actually Sidra just trying to make a badass intro. He is here on Earth, but he's not here to kill Frieza, but rather to destroy his own assassins because they failed to do their task properly. Scenario 3, indeed. Sidra is here to kill Frieza, but Goku or Frieza won't have to deal with him. Because Beerus would come to rescue, another rescue scenario could be Goku suddenly using the Zeno button to instant summon Zeno. Then, Zeno would unspot ban Universe 9 and even probably Universe 4 due to affiliation, but that for whatever reason sounds unlikely. I would totally not bet on it, but the thought is worthy enough to be kept in mind. Scenario 4, the blast we see on Ark is actually from Ketela. In that case it would mean Ketela only used Sidra's grudge against U7 for his own purpose. The scenario is inspired by those rumored leaks which are most likely fake. According to that rumor, Frieza would turn against Universe 7 and join 4. So if that were to happen, maybe Ketela will kill them all and somehow be able to persuade Frieza to join his side. However, the official spoilers didn't mention anything along that line as of yet, but didn't 100% debunk it either. So this is another unlikely scenario. Scenario 5 This is unlikely, but I'm only mentioning because people were commenting that on my previous video. That the retarded dog was not killed. He fell on the water and then suddenly shoots a blast surprising Frieza. I don't buy that. Why would a weakling like him have a blast like that? He might not have died, but that blast shouldn't happen. However, Ketela is involved. We know that, so what's his ultimate plan? And how do you think it will play out? Keep in mind that he's the one with brains in this equation, he's the one who actually sent a spy and gathered information, Sidra is basically the dumbest, powerless type of shit that other people would take advantage of. Do comment below and let me know. The scenes with the God of Destruction shot look super confusing. Because in the scene, it looks like the blast is coming from upwards to downwards. In the scene, 
Frieza easily dodges it, and moments before that he looked totally confident. But on the other scene where we see the blast coming from underneath the water, Frieza looks surprised and maybe like he wasn't expecting that. I wonder if this is a case of a dodge attack coming back. So many things on hand. Frieza, Sidra, Ketela, Goku, the spoilers, Yamcha. Use all these observations and information and comment your prediction or scenarios down below. Not long before the episode airs, I'm uploading it late, more like the last moment pre-episode discussion with you guys.